hands, hopefully. Can we see our hands? Yeah. 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 All right, fantastic. And in three, two, one, we're gonna get that same immersive hologram that we did before, but now we're gonna look at it through the context of neuroscience. So first of all, I'm gonna take this a step further. I'm gonna grab this hologram. I'm gonna put it right there by the desk. And now I'm back with you guys. We're right here, we're in the moment. We're connecting around the holographic campfire. And of course, right now my spatial memory kicks in. Reminds me that I am the operating system and I retrieve the glasses with no problem. Now my proprioception is coming in and so I'm actually able to explode these glasses into a thousand parts and understand them a lot more deeply, AKA we're touching to see. I'm now actually touching the exact camera that's currently scanning my hand as I'm touching it, which is getting a little too heady for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, the optical engine and this is how our optical engine works. I'll flip it around for you guys to see. That's a display source and it's reflecting against this really, really complex uh, optical engine uh, lens guide over here. But before my competitors see exactly what we're doing, I'll push that away. We're in the strap. <laughs> now we're focused on the strap, which my competitors can enjoy freely. Um, but it's not enough to do things ourselves. Uh, we, we are these social primates. So in three, two, one, we're gonna see something amazing. My co-founder in 3D. So he's actually photorealistic in front of me, guys, and my mirror neurons are screaming to me that this kind of technology is going to replace phones before too long. Hey, Ray, how's it going? Hello. Oh How you doing? Goodness. Guys, say hi to Ray. Hi. hi. He's been working pretty hard on this demo over the last three weeks. Now I'm the audience looking backward. Okay, cool. So Ray, give me five. Sure. Right here. Awesome. Um, <laughs> So, uh, my, my, again, my mirror neurons are telling me this kind of thing can replace phones, but that's not enough. We, by the way, if you see this guy in the bar, buy him a drink. It's not, not an easy demo to rig up in a few days. Uh, Ray, can you go ahead and send me that glass brain project from yeah, before? Guys, this isn't only going to replace the way that we communicate, it's also going to replace the way that we collaborate. There you go. Right. How about that? How about a little replacement for email right here while we're at it? Go ahead and pass me back. Perfect. And so folks, this is the message that I discovered in that bar in 2011. The future of computers is totally not locked inside one of these screens that everyone is picking up in front of me right now. The future of computers is right here inside of us. Thank, Thank you very you. much for your time.